Question 21. Where I live, the temperature last year got to minus 25 degrees centigrade. Can you guarantee me the heat pump will work when it's minus 25? This is a question we get asked a little bit, and it's really a case of us, the designers, managing your expectations. So the first thing is, it is highly unlikely that it ever got to minus 25 degrees C in the UK. Obviously, if you live um, very far north of Scandinavia, that's a possibility, but luckily, for our market, we didn't. So I thought I'd have a look at, at the place where I am today, which is in Manchester. And it turns out that where I am today, the coldest temperature ever experienced was minus 17.6 degrees C at Manchester Airport a few years ago. And this was just for a very short period of time. But generally speaking in Manchester, the temperature doesn't fall much below minus three degrees C, and if it does, it's for very, very short periods of time. So if I was to design you a system that could cope down to minus 20, it would be enormously oversized for the vast majority of the work. And so basically what we do as designers is kind of select a temperature which is gonna cover the bulk of the work and size the unit for that. And there's very, very extreme conditions the machine's gonna struggle, just like your boiler would. One of the problems when we're sizing for these extreme conditions is that as the temperature gets colder outside, you need more and more and more heat. But heat pumps actually fall in capacity as the temperature gets colder. So when we work out what the amount of heat we can give you is at zero degrees C, at minus five it's a bit less, and at minus 10 it's a bit less, and so on. And on this graph that I'm showing you here, you can actually see in blue how the capacity of the unit is beginning to fall. I've actually extended this one down to minus 10 degrees to show you what would happen in these very cold conditions. And these graphs come from things called capacity tables. So you can actually ask your manufacturer for a capacity table, and I can show you this one here you can see that when the weather outside is zero degrees, this machine will give 7.6 kilowatts, which is fantastic if your heat load is less than 7.6. Now, if I work on a really, really extreme condition of minus 20, you can see the output of the heat pump has really fallen away to less than three kilowatts at this point at minus 20. But this is really, really extreme. So in this really, really cold weather, if this happened again and again, we would have to size for this condition. However, luckily in the UK, this happens so rarely that we actually size much more reasonable temperatures. And again, our hand is held pretty much by MCS, the people who are gonna pay your grants. They tell us the temperature that we're supposed to design to, and it's in the MCS guide. So for instance, in the Southeast of England, where I'm from, we design around about minus 1.8 degrees, and up here in Manchester, we're designing for about minus three. These figures are given to us by MCS, and they represent 99% of the year. So in other words, 72 hours of the year, the temperature could be lower than the design condition. Below this design condition, we give you a little bit of slack just so we can take it up, but nobody would ever design a system to cope with that minus 17 temperature that once happened.